When you say Apple laptop, everyone thinks of the well-known MacBook. But before that, there is the PowerBook and of course the Macintosh Portable. The Macintosh Portable was Apple's first attempt to making a portable personal computer. It had a 9.8-inch LCD screen with Active Matrix, offering 640 by 400 pixel black and white graphics, included up to 9 MB of SRAM, a 1.44 MB floppy disk drive and an optional 40 MB 3-inch disk drive 5 inches. The battery offered up to 10 hours of use but consumes the same amount of energy even in sleep mode. Moreover, the Macintosh costs $7,300, the equivalent of over $14,000 today. That's why the Los Angeles Times said at the time of the launch that it's too big, too heavy and too expensive. So Macintosh Portable did not have such a good fate. The Macintosh Portable was updated in 1991 with the blacklit display, although it had the battery life. However, in the same year, Apple abandoned this line, replacing it with the PowerBook series, which included the low-end PowerBook 100, the more powerful PowerBook 140, and the high-end PowerBook 170. The only one with an active matrix display and costing between $2,300 and $4,599. In 1994 followed the PowerBook 500 series, more elegant and more efficient this time. It included stereo speakers and was the first laptop with a trackpad and the first with a built-in Ethernet network. This was followed by the series based on PowerPC, PowerBook 5300 and PowerBook Duo 2300C models that had some problems, especially with the batteries. In 1997, Apple introduced three more PowerBooks, replacing previous models, PowerBook 1400, PowerBook 2400 and the luxury PowerBook 3400. The PowerBook 1400 and 3400 were the first PowerBooks to ever include an internal CD drive. In 1998, Apple launched a new series, the PowerBook G3, being the first to use the PowerPC G3 series of microprocessors, making it the fastest laptop in the world at that time. PowerBook G4 followed the last of this generation. The G4 came in the titanium version or the aluminium version, both being highly appreciated both for design and performance. Already, these models were approaching in appearance what was to come, the MacBook. But before that, Apple launched the iBook, an entry-level series and was the first mass-produced product to offer Wi-Fi network connectivity. The series included three models, iBook G3 Clamshell, iBook G3 Snow and iBook G4 Snow. First, it was inspired by the iMac design of that time, but its shape did not have much appreciation. Next, it came with a new, more conventional design and the G4 came with the new chip and USB 2.0 port. This was the last iBook laptop, making way for the next generation, the MacBook. In 